Wow, that's a lot of tools. Let's build a cemetery. This is going to be a big project. So I'm going to split it up into several episodes. In this first episode, I'm going to focus on grave plots. It will be the central feature of the cemetery. And since I want the cemetery to be somewhat modular, I want several different individual graveyard plots to spread throughout the cemetery. I start the process by cutting out a one inch by two inch piece of medium weight chipboard, which I will be using for the base of the grave plot. And this is where I make my first mistake. It's early on, to be expected. I cut a piece of construction foam that is one inch by two inches by a quarter inch deep, which is the same length and width as the base, and I glue it on. This will form the foundation of the dirt mound for a new grave plot. And the problem here is that I left no room for the gravestone. I didn't realize this right away, so I went ahead and started the process of cutting an incline into the foam so that it would slope into the base and form a mound. I go all around the foam making sure that I take each edge and slope it down to the base and on the corners I sort of round them off a little bit. And it's about at this point when I bring my headstone out that I realized my mistake. All I have to do is cut off the piece of foam uh, that's taking up the space that I need for the headstone and then just take it off and we're good to go at that point I think. And with just a little bit of hot glue, we're back on track. As is almost always the case, uh, the second one and subsequent ones went much easier now that I've made about all the mistakes you can make on a project that is this simple. In this next step, I'm going to apply a very generous amount of Elmer's glue to the foam. And I'll use a brush to spread it out over the entire surface to make sure I got full coverage. And now for the fun part. All you have to do is get some sand or dirt or whatever you want to use as you're flocking sprinkle it on top of it just douse it in it and it will stick to the PVA glue give it a little shake and you're pretty much done now we are ready to seal our individual little grave plot using a solution that is 50% Elmer's glue and 50% water make sure you get full coverage to lock in those little pieces of sand and uh, rocks. Give it about a day to dry and there you go. You have your very own graveyard plot. You can make quite a few of these at the same time and then once you're done, you can lay them out on a table and have a pretty impressive looking cemetery. Let's take a look and see what I had at the end of this project. As you can see by mixing your individual grave plots along with just the headstones, you can spread them out and make a pretty uh, large cemetery in a very short amount of time.
And that concludes another episode of Tabletop That. Feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, feel free to hit that thumbs down button. Leave comments below and hit that subscribe button if you're so inclined. And until next time, have fun and keep crafting.